Hello guys, and welcome to my tutorial on how to do well in Air Tycoon. So, just follow the following steps, um, starting from the beginning of a world. You'll want to pick a server to join which had, starting in, instead of, like, here, if you look in the upper hand corner, I can't point because I'm using a screen recorder, 1967, you want it to be 1960 and close to January as possible. Once you do that, um, buy six Tupelo 104s and at least three 707s. And put them on the, as high number routes as possible and avoid all competition. Pretty much the following basics are the numbers that represent the city don't matter. As long like the difference between business and tour is very small, and I haven't been able to tell the difference um, with over a hundred, with over four thousand, I think, uh, not four thousand, one thousand four hundred aircraft placed. Um, that's, I have, I've had over a thousand two hundred aircraft on one account before. Um, so pretty much you want to have your numbers as high as possible uh, with no competition. So pretty much what you have to do is once you follow these, you continue leasing two plebs and buying 707s, doing short range routes, those are kind of easy. You just, you know, find a, a pretty big city connected to another, charge like 75% or whatever. Because it's hard to fill up a short range route um, completely with 707s near the beginning. And then you should eventually hit 70 or 80k, and at that point, uh, buy the following plane. Uh, go here, McDonnell Douglas. You'll buy the DC-811, but right now the DC-860, 860. Uh, I can't talk. 62 has already come out, and then pretty much what I do, extend the business class a bunch. Ooh, uh, like to get it perfect. OCD. Uh, Decrease the seats by an inch to start. I'll decrease them later if I need to. And then buy as many as I can afford. And then perfect. Then I kind of go route hunting. This is a good thing to do. Um, and pretty much just start with a city which you might not think a lot of people will try. Houston right now is a good example because, whoa, the game just had a lag out. Um, recording this game. Uh, recording games on general on iPod is quite difficult, so there are a lot of problems I've encountered. Uh, and immediately found one, Houston to Luxembourg. You can make this kind of route. Uh, I know there are a few from Berlin, because I've already looked. Uh, for example, we have right now, Berlin to Asia has pretty much been taking all the good ones, all the good routes. And here we have Berlin to Houston, Berlin to Dallas, these are all pretty good. Berlin to Atlanta, I can't believe that's not taken, that's actually a really good route. So as you can see, we've already found two or three good routes, which will fill up. Um, and here's pretty much the scheme for how to get your profit the highest for each aircraft. So once you have a good route, Shanghai to London is actually a pretty amazing route. I don't know how I got it for myself. Uh, max the prices. Um, after you let your game run for a few ticks or hours, I don't I don't know how to say it. And pretty much once this this unit of time, like I can't show you, but like the, once the, the time unit in this in this game passes, a couple of ticks, and you see you're at the bottom of one of these spikes. Because if you're a pretty big company, you should already be having these spiky things. If you're at the bottom of a spike, and the and the What's it called? I'm losing train of thought. If the occupancy is a hundred, then a good thing to do is take your plane. Actually, at this time I didn't know about business class being better on long range routes, so we can quickly do that too. Let's put that on like twenty five. Okay, that's good. Um, and you can do that, and it, if it's, it'll usually help your profit increase. Um, so that's pretty much tips and tricks how to make your profit better. Hopefully it was not dragged on for too long. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.